Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing at the Madden Cheese as always. Got another gameplay video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be going over uh, what's essentially my favorite defense. I already put out a video or two about I already put out a breakdown video uh, in practice mode on how to run this particular defense. But I'm going to show you guys today how to run it to the maximum of its potential. Because I'm going to basically get more interceptions than I really thought was possible in a Madden game in this particular gameplay. So starting off on the offensive side though, the fullback inside, this is probably my go-to run i ran uh pretty much the niners all weekend league and this is this is easily one of my favorite runs uh it's one of the most consistent the first three plays uh, of this game i just i mean i come out in something different but if i see an opportunity i'm going to take this this run play pretty much every time you can see i mean there's there's hellacious holes uh but eventually my opponent does does wise up and start shutting that down but uh it's still one of the better run plays in the game i'm thinking about making a video about that play specifically uh next play put a little bit of stick work on him and we're just making a, a you know making something out of nothing because right there he pretty much had that locked uh my opponent here i mean other than a couple of big run plays to start this game he's gonna do a very good job defending uh, a lot of my offense now i'm gonna try to hit him with the double ends uh this is a play that i put out not too long ago this should home run cover three especially since he's shifting it to the point where the safety's out of the middle of the field but he made some sort of adjustment here where this guy came out of nowhere uh basically shut this play down so uh i mean it typically home runs just about everything but it didn't really work out there so i'm on the defensive side the play that i'm going to be running today is the nickel 335 i like i said i already put out a video or two about this particular defense the play itself is the cover three cloud if you didn't catch that original video i will put a link in the description if you want to see a very in-depth breakdown and a scheme from this particular defense all i'm really going to do most of the game i'm going to run this play the entire game the setup is super easy i'll try to write the setup down in the description below but it really can change one of the first things i'm going to do every time is i'm going to do over the top coverage because i don't i don't really like that hard flat sometimes i'll leave it if I'm expecting a run other than that's about it I'll also pinch the entire defense if I'm expecting a run which I am here and then the last step uh, is probably the most important bluff blitz one of these defensive ends so they can be a three wreck in the middle of the field I also put my user on a blitz because a, everybody should know about that glitch by now it just takes away a change of direction penalty uh, for the user as you can see right here I mean I'm basically gonna lock everything up you can see right here everything's bagged there's nothing really open so second and ten everything here is pretty much bagged if you know where the weakness is on this defense you can shut it down there's nothing really that you my opponent can do about it. Third and 20, like I said, this is one of the scenarios where it would change a little bit. I'm not going to pinch the defense based off the fact that he needs 20 yards. Uh, so I'll leave my safeties where they're at. But that's just about it. Everything else I'm going to be doing pretty much the exact same setup this entire game. Now there, he takes the check down. On fourth and 10, I mean, this is definitely not one of the best times to go for it. But that's what people do in weekend league, man. They just they go for it like all the time. It doesn't even matter. And he almost got it too. Which, nope. You know, like I said, crossers are probably one of the biggest issues for this defense. You definitely got to follow those crossers. On the offensive side, I'm going to hit him with a, a scheme that I just put out out of the Niners playbook uh, this is something that you know I've been running uh, I probably should have ran it more in this particular game but I'm pretty much just gonna hit with a skinny post in the 0-1 trap that's pretty much the two plays that are the most important here first play hit him with that 0-1 trap like I said very successful run play on the next play we're gonna come back around we're gonna hit him with that skinny post uh, and I'm gonna do a little bit of an adjustment here I'm gonna put both of these post uh, routes on a smart route because I really have a short length of the field here so I don't want this to open up late uh, but you can run it either way and then right here based off the fact that I got a short field both of these guys would have scored I mean they both meet up right over the middle it looks like my opponent was probably using the cover three safety a little bit low expecting that 0-1 trap one more time so back on the defensive side back in my 3-3-5 cover three cloud I'm gonna run this most of the game it's not because I don't have any other plays I have a pretty good scheme out of this but based off the fact that he's just not finding any openings why would I change it to get a covered sack on the next play if there's one area where this could be a little bit vulnerable right there i didn't pinch my defensive line so he gets a run right up the middle this play can give up a couple of runs but you can see right here i pinched my defensive line on the next play nope and he gets shut down so it's really based off of the fact whether you pinch that defensive line or not fourth and seven though i'm not too worried about it. i don't expect him to run so i'll leave the defensive line open and i was all over that route but a lot of times when you when you're all over a route you don't expect them to throw it to that route and i probably should add another interception there uh on first and ten once again everything's bagged he did have an opportunity there but once again we get a little bit of pressure then on second and ten like i said everything's locked up we can go Woo! 
another sack, another pressure. We're only sending two guys, but since we have Chase Young over the center, he's just doing a great job. Derek Thomas is usually one of my blitzers. He does a great job. Uh, so third and 20, we're not going to bring anybody forward in this situation, but other than that, we do that on just about every single play. Unless it's a third and long or fourth and long, we're going to you know bring everybody into the box for the most part. Probably should have got another interception. Nope. So he's going to go for it on fourth and long again. I think he's crazy, but watching the replay, I actually see what he was thinking. He actually figured out a way to glitch his defense. As you can see right here, he just gets a bad pass to the outside. Gotcha, but he probably would have been gone. But watching this on the replay, the guy was definitely, uh, you know, he was coming up with an attack, a way to attack that defense. So on the uh, offensive side, since he's pressing this defense so much, I try to put my outside receiver on a streak thinking that maybe Tyreek Hill can just, you know, beat him up top. And he does a pretty good job. But ultimately, I, I think I probably didn't safe catch it. Probably rack caught or something like that. And he doesn't catch it. So on the next play, second and 10, nothing's really open here. Probably uh, could have, you know, did something. Maybe took a check down, but I actually run with it. Get a decent carry. Uh, you know, get the first down. Next play, he starts running me with some man cover one. This was probably the only successful play that I had this entire game against his man cover one. Then I get inside the five, and I'm just going to try to hit him with this fullback dive. Uh, first play, had the wrong running back in. Nope. Uh, so I didn't get my fall forward animation. Next play, nope. I get stuffed in the backfield. Uh, and then on third and goal, going to try to hit him with, uh, you know, another power run. Uh, and then sure enough, I mean, I get that fall forward animation, but I I don't get enough. Nope. Uh, so I'm going to take the points because it's, you know, I'll take a two possession lead. I'm getting nothing but interceptions on the defensive side. So even though I'm at the one, I'll take that field goal. I'll take that two possession game and I'll be happy about it. So second half, like I said, he's he started to figure out a way to kind of glitch this defense. And you can see with his next couple of play calls that he's still kind of got something as he almost does it again. Gotcha, but sure enough, I mean, this secondary's boss, uh, we get an interception with uh, Sean Taylor. So he's lit up now. Second half, very first play. I mean, I'm dropping everybody back because like I said, I can see he's trying to go deep so I got everybody in deep coverage because you know one of the things about playing defense is where is your opponent throwing the ball he's throwing the ball deep a lot so I'm not gonna let him have that sure enough on the next place trying to hit me with like some deep crossers and stuff like that um, I'm not really sure what he's doing but he throws it up at last second gotcha, and we're coming down with another interception with Sean Taylor so Sean Taylor back-to-back -back interceptions on back-to-back -back plays uh, then on the offensive side this is where the struggle bus really takes off as his man coverage just starts clamping everything down I mean I, he started running his man cover one at the end of the first half so I'm gonna try to hit with a man beater the Z spot is a good man beater especially against man cover one I even put the B route out here on a smart route to try to make it get open quicker and sure enough I mean he just can't get past the DB this DB comes up with the interception his man defense stops a lot of uh, routes that it really shouldn't and then once again he's motioning this guy out he's trying to create a, a glitch route to beat this defense uh, and it's just not there I mean my DBs are just overpowered as Marshawn Lattimore gets a, a another interception but this guy's attacking man he's really trying to break this he's really trying to you know bust this coverage and it's just not working out so next play we're going to try that zig uh, that, that stop and go one more time because it should work but sure enough, you got we still don't get past. This time McLaurin uh, gets stuffed, but at least I'm awesome. So bottom line is we, uh, we get out of the danger zone, which is the most important part. Then we're going to hit him with the slot curl. Another man beating route, but this is all about timing. You can see he's wide open here. I pull the trigger. I, I almost got a, cut, a catch and run up the sideline. Then on third and one, we hit him with that fullback dive one more time. This is a very good scheme that I usually have a lot of success running. Uh, still in that man cover one, so we're going to hit him with that slot curl one more time. This play right here, it's all about timing. Sure enough, this guy is wide open. I'm open, I'm open, over here! But I don't pull the trigger, and by the time I do, Damn it. he catches up, and now he's throwing an interception. So that's 100% on me. Like I said, that play is all timing, and I just hesitated. On the defensive side, like I said, everything's bagged. As long as you cover that crosshair, nothing's really going to beat this. We can go! We get another sack, uh, which, you know, we probably get as many sacks as we get interceptions here. Uh, I'll have a total count at the end of the video to tell you guys how many I had of both. Uh, then, second and 19, I mean, he's still trying to bomb it up. I mean, when you're getting in second and long the entire game, that's going to happen. Although, we probably should have had another interception there. If I had, I probably should have had like a dozen more interceptions than I actually end the game with. But that's Madden for you. On the next play, he looks like he's got something else working here. This guy almost beats my coverage on the outside, but the longer the ball's in the air, the more opportunity you have to make up, uh, you know, to make up ground. And that's exactly what I do is I get another interception. Two from Marshawn Latimer, two from Sean Taylor. Uh, on the offensive side, though, we're still struggling. I and mean, we're trying to run the ball. We see that the clock's, you know, it's fourth quarter now. So we just have to grind down clock as much as possible. But this run defense, his guys are coming out of nowhere and making huge stops uh, on, a, on a couple of play. I mean, these guys are just lighting it up. They're shutting down my runs and my passes now. Like I said, look at this guy. Comes out of nowhere. Boom. And he's not even run committing. He's got his safeties all the way in the 
the back. So on the next play, he's running a lot of man coverage. So we're going to hit him with the drive corner. This is a man-beating route, especially man cover one, man zero. And once again, he's all over that. Everything is bagged one more time. So I basically just toss it up because it's third and five. I'm going to punt it away anyway, so I might as well take a shot. That's essentially a punt. It is what it is. So now he needs two scores. So I'm backing everybody up, which I don't typically do. This is the only play that I do this the entire game, and it totally bites me in the ass as I drop everybody back. Nothing's really open. He throws it last minute, and it almost gets intercepted oh, he almost had it. by Malcolm Jenkins. But sure enough, he gets through that, through the trash, gets a block in the back, and he's almost gone. But luckily, my Deion Sanders was faster than his Deion Sanders as I run him out of bounds. So next play, this is only the second play of the drive. He hasn't done anything all game, and he threads the needle again Damn it! on back-to-back -back plays, this time to score a touchdown. All of a sudden, we got a ball game. So now i got to get some offense. <laughs> Nope. That ain't going to happen as my offense is looking terrific. Uh, next play, second and 16. I don't know what the hell I was doing here. I mean, this wasn't open at all. Boom this man! And now we're basically in a position where I got to keep him from getting about 10 yards or less for an opportunity at a game tying field goal. And then on the very next play, I don't follow the crosser once again. And he just he just basically gets right into the red zone on the very first play. So now his offense is lighting it up. My defense is struggling. So on the next play, though, he starts to get a little timid. He starts hitting some flat routes. I'm cool with that. I just got to keep him out of the end zone. I'm not trying to lose this game right now. And then sure enough, I mean, he's just dinking and dunking me. Clock's ticking, clock's ticking. I'm pretty much of the mindset I'm probably going to, at the very least, have a tie ball game. But this guy's too much of a riverboat gambler. Gotcha, bitch. And he throws an interception on third and four. Throws away the game because he could have easily tied it up right there and just been happy and going to overtime. But he was pushing it, man. He was trying to get that game winner. So I'm not going to throw a single pass right here. I don't trust my, my passing game at all. His man coverage is too tough. But his run defense is too tough, too. As you can see, he's shutting down all my run plays as well. So his defense, I mean, I don't know who this guy is lit up like this, but he He's just lighting me up. He's just stuffing me on every single play. So I'm going to punt away three runs, and I'm kicking it. I'm not taking any chances that I throw an interception. Then on the very final play, he fair catches it with three seconds left. He's going to try to pull a Hail Mary out of his butt, uh, and it's just not going to happen. As he throws it up, and we're going to get our seventh interception of the game. Uh, that one there is probably the, uh, the cheapest. I probably should have went down. Knowing this game, I went have fumbled and lost the game. But So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more gameplays like this, do me a favor. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.